Welcome back, folks, to Chicago 811. How the hell is everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. We got a great video for you guys. Contractor wants to do direction to bore out here at this intersection. I gotta locate the water main out here. And you guys know how I enjoy locating water main. And I don't. So please like, subscribe, and watch me try to make another attempt on locating a 12 inch ductile water main. How the hell did I get this one marked right? All right, folks, we will try to locate water out here. And, know, and everybody knows me and water. We don't get along. Waterman break. Flooding this whole block up with water. I don't locate water. I hate locating water. Water's too, water mains are too hard to locate, ductile. So, my last attempt trying to locate a water main down here, I was successful. Contractors found it. I was within my 18 inches. So now at this case here, I got this water main going that way. It's showing to be like an end cap. Like it just dies out. So we go try to make the tap and see where this main just stops. Corner where the print shows it just stops somewhere over there. I don't know. Never saw a water made stop. It's supposed to connect to something, I thought. So, and I was, success, I was successful last time using this copper rod. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it in there and put it right on top of that nut. Nut head. I don't know how well you guys can see. But I'm going right on the top of that, should be still. Don't hit it too hard. I don't want to get a water main break. It's on that nut. Now I got to like balance this on top of this duck towel. Look how big it is. It's 12 inch. I hope this doesn't drop. Because if this, if this rod drops, hit that main, we're going to have a water main break. And I'll be out here all night again. So it's on top of that. I got to try to secure this somehow. Man, the ground's tough. We need some rain. All right, I'm on top of that nut. Um, 9.8. I only got 28 milliamps. What the hell's going on here? 28 milliamps. We'll try and make the temp with 28 milliamps and 9.8 locating this ductile. Hopefully, I got one shot to get this right, folks, because they're doing directional bar. And these guys, they don't like pothole or nothing. So. If I don't mark it right, they're going to hit it. And I see blue flags over there. I'm wondering if this main ties into that main that belongs to a different township. I do got footage off the print from that valve. It says 116 feet. I'm wondering if this one ties in here and doesn't show it on my print. You know, look, the guy made it 24 inches wide, 30 inches wide. Maybe it ties in here, 116 feet. We'll see. This looks like about 116 feet. We'll see if it takes me here, folks. I don't know how well you guys can see this. It's all. It's all scratch up. I wish RD would donate radio detection or donate me an equipment.
that nut, off that nut, I'm not getting no luck. So, the first attempt failed. Time to try to get on the water main itself. Gonna try to get on the main without damaging it. This is gonna be tricky. Be back. Alright, I'm on the main. Somewhat on the main. I'm looking at this guy's service. Got a beautiful tone. <laughs> bleed off. That's why I hate locating water mains. I bled out to the electric. Off the bat. Second attempt, folks, failed. So what I'm gonna do, go use this hydrant, this valve there, whatever that's called, it's a valve, but it's called something. There's a name for this. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna use this, see if we get a tone on this, and then see if I can take it out that way. So let me get into that. Let me get set up, and let's my third chance. If I don't get it right, then I failed on locating the water main. I struck out twice already. This is my last attempt trying to locate it. If I can't locate this, these boring company guys doing the direction of bar is going to hit a 12 inch ductile. And there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to pay the bill when the bill comes in. All right. Let's try the fire hydrant. Be right back. This one here, I'm getting 100. So on this one here, I'm right on top of top of that nut, that round little um, steel. Um, screw, set screw, or screw, whatever you guys want to call it. Not the nut, but the steel part. Look at that, guys. I'm not a water guy. I'm just here. People think just because you're a locator, you can locate anything. And the matter of fact is that's a false statement. You can't locate anything if you're a locator. You just can locate what you're trained to locate. That doesn't mean you can locate everything. I never locate water mains every single day, so I don't know how it tones out, how it's supposed to act on my receiver. So, you know, this is like a new experience for me. So if everybody says you're low, can you can locate anything? Just tell them that's a false statement. And it is a false statement. All right, let's go see. Now I'm getting a better tone. All right, I'm getting a tone now. I'm getting a tone. My alarm's going off, so I know I'm bleeding out to something. Because when the alarm goes off, it means something shallow. And this one here. We 
least four feet down. All right, let me sweep this way. See what the hell is going on. I got a tone here. <laughs> Four feet, five feet, and that's what's in there. Four to five feet. to show it crossing the road print doesn't show cross the road I don't know how it's going on folks <laughs> I don't I really don't yeah it's on crossing six feet print shows are going I don't know what the print shows, to be honest with you. Oh, I do get a tone here. Two feet. I really don't know. Tone here, three feet. There's another valve here. So this tone, shaky tone, ties into this. It has to be it. If it doesn't tie into that water main, it ties into the street light, I'm in trouble. Cup is turning. I'm in trouble. This ain't good. This ain't good, folks. It shows this stop. It doesn't make sense. That's why I figured where it shows to be stop. She's yelling at someone. Screaming. I thought it could be this spot right here. But... Apparently it's not. All right, here's the water main right here. Here's my fire hydrant. I don't see no lateral. I got to check the other manhole there. But then I got this line. If you guys can see, it just that it dead ends here. Can someone tell me what what is this water main doing? It dead ends. There's nothing else going out there. So when I click on it, when I click on it, it doesn't give me no information. Not this page, next page. This page, it's it been installed in 1971. Portable water, ductile, we all know that. But when I'm looking down, 12 inch, okay. And it's 116.44 feet. That's all this thing's telling me. Can someone tell, tell me? Do they have, does water main just uncap? It just stops like that? I thought it like terminates at a fire hydrant or something. Or it continues. So anybody in the water department, let me know. Leave a comment below. I'd like to know your thoughts. Alright, this is what I get off the print. What I'm gathering. 
This valve, this valve right here, I suppose have a three-way, one crossing. But what happened when I hooked onto this, I got it going out, and then remember, it turned to cross the road to get to that fire hydrant. And I think that's where it goes. I think the print's wrong. Because this one, this one turned to get me to that fire hydrant where that white car is at. But, and it shows it in here. Right here at the location per print. But we know how prints are. They're just a guide. Remember that. See, when I'm looking in there, I don't see nothing in there except this being here going straight and it turned. I gotta say turning. Nothing, not, no three-way in here. Oh man, I say. It goes out to that fire hydrant. We'll go look in this well here. See what the hell is going on. Almost broke my back. Let's get down there. Hello. All right, I got. I got the one going to the north. So this one's going right here, it falls down how well you can see it right here, you see that shut off. That's that main going that direction. So that prints right on that. On this one. This one over here, the print's not right because it shows a three-way. And there's not a three-way. So I'm thinking if this one turns and feeds a fire hydrant down there by the white car. I don't know why all these people look at me before. They think I'm nuts. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go per print off measurements. 116 feet, 118 feet. Go all the way down. Mark it off measurements. Tell the contractors to dig it up. So folks, I hope you liked this short video. Please like, subscribe. Oh, one more thing. I failed on this one. I could not locate the water main. It's not due to locating. It's due to print description sheet. Print is wrong. I believe that this water main curves and goes. All right, folks, curves and goes to that fire hydrant. I don't think nothing goes that way like the print shows. Cause I got a tone turning. All right, folks. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.